Hi, I'm Dr. Isaac Alexis from the Slim Samurai Group 84, helping you to slash through sickness and offering you in return a slice of health and wellness. I'm continuing in my series related to the lemon and looking at the mineral magnesium. Now, an important thing to know about magnesium is mood stability. Now, have you found yourself feeling in the blues? You just don't know what it is? Day after day, hour after hour, week after week, you're feeling the deep seated blues. You're not feeling as happy as you once were. Maybe a month ago, maybe two months ago, maybe three months ago, but something's not right. Your friends are noticing you're losing your appetite. You're not interested in the previous activities that you once enjoyed. Going to the baseball game, going to the football game. Not riding your Harley Davidson on the weekends as you used to with all your best friends. Something's up. Well, if you are deficient in magnesium, that is a source of what can cause depression. Magnesium deficiency. Now, they did a study, they conducted this and involved approximately nine to 10,000 people and found that people under the age of 65 that had the lowest magnesium intake had a 22% greater risk of developing depression and I'm here to remove the stigma of depression. At times, we all go through challenges and feel a little bit off. And it may not be your fault. It can be diet-based. Sometimes you may feel guilty, sad. All those, my friend, are signs of depression, believe it or not. Now, let me tell you some interesting historical fact. Now, today's food, as compared to food, let's say, 25, maybe 50, even 100 years ago, has less magnesium. And that has been linked to depression. They did a randomized clinical trial in depressed older adults. They took adults and administered 400 and 50 milligrams to them on a daily basis as compared to placebo. And those that had 450 milligrams once a day were less symptomatic for depression. And those that took the 450 milligrams of magnesium once a day this for them actually functioned as an antidepressant drug. Less feelings of being tired all the time. They were now more likely to be engaged in the activities that once brought them joy and happiness. Appetites were boosted as well. Now, in addition, magnesium has shown itself to be useful in persons with type 2 diabetes, believe it or not. Studies have shown that around 45% of persons with type 2 diabetes have low levels of magnesium in their blood, which may impair insulin's ability to keep the blood sugar under control. One study 
that followed 4,000 plus people over 20 years found that those that had the highest magnesium intake were 45% less likely to develop diabetes down the road. Another study had shown that people that had type 2 diabetes taking high doses of magnesium each day experienced improvement in their serum sugar levels, that is their blood sugar levels, and they had improvement in what's called hemoglobin A1C, that's HbA1c. For those that don't know what that is, hemoglobin A1c, the sugar in the blood interacts with the surface of the erythrocytes, that's the red blood cell. And using sophisticated measurements involving spectrophotrometry, the what's called glycosylation, the coating of the sugar on the red blood cells. We obtain a number, and that number should be 6.5 and lower. If it's 7.0, 7.5, then it may be indicative of diabetes. I would recommend you get a repeat test in 30 to 60 days. Now, in a different study, supplements did not improve blood sugar or insulin levels in people who were not deficient. Pretty much, if you wanted to have the best benefit, then you should have already had a magnesium deficiency. Now, I'm going to discuss this wonderful power fruit in more detail for those who are interested in Ayurvedic medicine. For instance, the lemon can be used as a compress. It can be used as a massage oil. And that lemon the scent of it is just invigorating and stimulates the senses and relaxes the mind. It's citrus aroma and antiseptic properties makes it a natural deodorizer. Now, the lemon oils tone skin, boost circulation, it helps to decrease varicose veins. You're on the beach. Sometimes you feel self-conscious. Your veins are showing. It looks like there's worms on your skin. But there can be something done about that naturally. Now, what else can lemons, their oil, do for me? Can you tell me? Very good. Very good. It can also prevent something called chill blains. In that picture right there, I've shown what the chill blains looks like. Now, chill blains, for those that don't know what that is, chill blains are small lesions caused by the inflammation of tiny blood vessels after exposure to cold air. I'm going to talk more about that in my next video. Now, don't forget to click, subscribe, like, comment, pass this to 25 of your friends. And go to medicalwellness.blog, B as in Bob, L-O-G, to buy my book. Don't forget to go to https colon forward slash forward slash www.medicalwellness.com.
I'm sorry. It's Slim, S-L-I-M, Samurai, S-A-M-U-R-A-I, dot com, forward slash, to schedule one-on-one medical wellness consults with me in VVWTO format. It's in the link below. Once more, this is Dr. Isaac Alexis from the Slim Samurai Group 84, helping you to slash through sickness and offering you a slice of health and wellness. God bless.